Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome back to the channel. So since playing Deep.io, I was suggested to maybe come try this one. This one is Starve.io. So we are going to be heading into the Sydney server number two. There are currently 27 players online, so let's just jump in and get this started. So Starve.io is a survival crafting game. So the first thing we're going to want to do, we need to collect up a whole heap of wood so then we can make one of these little pickaxes. So we can now craft one of those up. I will pop down all the recipes that you need as we go. I'll just pop them up on the screen. So then if you need to pause at any point in time to go back and check out a recipe, be my guest. All right, so we now have both a little bit of wood and a little bit of stone. So as you can see in the top left, we can actually craft a crafting table and we can also craft a fire as well. But I'm going to need to have something to eat in just a minute once I better grab something to eat. And we can actually also hit the R button now and the game will auto feed. So as soon as we start to get low in our food meter, the game will auto feed us. I'm going to make up one of these fires. Alright, so once we have the original small fire, we can now go ahead and craft one of these large fires. They do seem to last a lot longer. And if you're struggling to find resources at all, you can actually hit the Y button now. It'll open up this mini map and on here we are the blue dot. It'll show you where all the gold and stone and everything like that is. And I might... Oh, no, he's all right. He's going to go past. I thought that guy might have come back and chopped me up then. So you will need to be careful of other players also because this is a survival game. A lot of other players will find you to be a threat just um, because you might take their food or you might take their wood. So you will need to be careful of obviously a lot of the other players so they don't beat you up. Now we're going to need to put down our fire. We might maybe put it here so we can still collect some stone and wood. Down in the bottom left you can see our life bars. So we have a life bar, we have a food bar and we have a cold bar. If any of these guys start flashing you're going to be in trouble. So if your life bar is flashing depending on why it's flashing you basically just want to find a safe place. If you've been um, attacked by wolves or something like that then you just want to find somewhere safe. If your food bar is flashing obviously you're hungry and if your cold bar is flashing then you're freezing. So you want to go get near a fire but word of warning don't stand too close to the fire because if you actually stand in the fire you will um, burn <laughs> I know it seems kind of obvious but the amount of players that I have seen just literally standing in a fire and then when they despawn they're like well, I don't know I don't know what happened how'd I die you died because you were standing in the fire and this game has been made so it is sort of realistic once we have a whole heap of resources, I will find a nice little place that we will start to call our own little base and this wolf's going to try and get me. So what I will do, I will let him get close enough and then if you just run in a straight line, so not zigzag at all, just in a straight line, you will actually eventually lose him. Obviously later on in the game I will attack him because he will give me fur and he also will give me meat which I can cook and eat but at this stage I'm not quite strong enough. So we've collected a few resources, so now we would like to start making our own little base. So this guy here, Stealth, says that he is friendly, so we're going to trust him on that just now. And we're going to make up a little camp with him. So he has gone ahead and he has planted one of these berry bushes, so I might actually do the same. So we'll craft one of them up. There we are, and we will plant down our own little berry bush next to his. And hopefully he didn't need that food. And I might just head down here, see if I can find some more berries. There must be some more berries around here somewhere because we're going to start to starve soon. So I'm just sort of keeping an eye on our mini map as to where all the berries are. Here's some. This is a player's base though. I might get in trouble for stealing his berries. He might get really angry. He is. He's going to chase me away. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. I was hungry. I just needed to come get some berries. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just like borrowing a cup of sugar from your neighbor. Only in this game, your neighbor will likely try to <laughs> beat you up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, well, it's all good. All good. So that sort of covers the basic and seeing as we're going to put up our camp here, I don't know if it's the best idea to have our camp wide out in the open here, but oh well, we're going to craft up a crafting table. 
All right, so we got this little guy here, and I think maybe we might place it just here next to the tree. That might be all right there. Take his berries. All right, and as you can see up here, it's now come up with a whole heap of items that we are able to craft with the resources that we have at the moment. So I'm actually going to craft up a stone pickaxe first. And then I want to craft up a stone spear because it's going to help us defend ourselves, but it's also going to help us um, gather meat. So then we've got something else to eat other than berries because obviously you will run out of berries quite quickly um, whilst you're waiting for your little berry bushes to grow. So it's handy to have another food source. Now what we want to do is we want to start crafting up a whole heap of these wooden walls because once we have the wooden walls we can turn them into stone walls. See now we can now make a stone wall. So we'll make some wooden walls first. Got to chase this Batman Go guy off. Sorry dude. I'm sorry but you can't stay here because we don't have enough food for everyone. We don't have enough food and they will just come in and they will steal all our food. Get out. Get out the pair of yous. Get out. No. 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 Go. Go. Shoo. Shoo. There's one. Get the other one. Get him. He's gone. Yeah. All right. I know it seems pretty cruel, guys, but seriously, if you have too many friendlies in the area, they will literally just eat all the food and you are all going to starve. So you're better off having one or two close friends in the game and everyone else needs to go find somewhere else to live. I know it's horrible, but uh, it's just the way the game works. So we have nine wooden walls, so we will now be able to turn them into nine stone walls. But I don't actually know if nine is going to quite be enough to cover the area. So we will see how we go. Now we have the nine stone walls, we can turn them into these spiky walls. So we're going to go ahead and make nine of these. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a little bit of a base here set up so far. It's not perfect, but it'll do. I don't know why it's in a round formation. It just is. That's just the way I sort of did it. Um, so now what i got to do, i just got to craft up a few more little spiky things to place here. And then that's fairly well our base done. So that's fairly well our little base completion. So I also like to put these spiky things next to the door here because um, the door is the weakest point in any of these buildings. So obviously when players try to come and attack you, they try and attack straight away at the door. Now, if you have spiky things by the door, it still sort of cuts them a little bit. Well, it, it prevents them from getting in as easy because they will die if they hit your spikes you won't but they will so what I'm gonna do next is I want to craft up one of these little bags so we're gonna need five wool fur and we're gonna need ten spider threads And these spiders actually drop two threads in one shot. So you actually only need to collect five spiders, not ten. So when I said ten threads, you might have thought that we need to collect ten spiders, but we only need to collect five of them. But they are a little bit tricky to beat up. So I do recommend, if you can, probably having better weapons than just the stone ones. But I'm working with the stone ones right now because it's all I have. It is also a pretty good idea that when you are not hunting items or if you're not hunting players, to put your pickaxe back in your hands. If you're running around with a spear in your hands and there's a player nearby you and they're a big player, they will automatically take you as a threat and they will come over and beat you up. So just a little bit of a, little bit of a warning because they, they will find that quite threatening. Now we've gathered up all the resources that we need to make this little baggie. So now I'm going to go ahead and just make that one up. Awesome stuff. So as you can see now, I got the little backpack on and it actually gives us an extra three slots. So now we're able to go collect gold and things like that. It's going to make life a lot easier. This is just the way I like to play. Um, I know a lot of players will actually um, try and go get the best weapons and things like that first, but I find it's l a lot, lot easier if you craft the bag first off.
Alright, so I've collected some gold and things like that. So now we are actually able to craft up one of these little golden chests. And I might just place that one down over here. And I've got another little fire here, so I'll plop that one down here. Also have enough stuff to make the golden pickaxe. So I'm going to craft that one because we will need that one when we go out into the snow in order to be able to collect the diamond out there. Now that we have all the resources, we're able to make one of these little furnaces. Now, basically the way it works, it's not like a normal fire. It won't go out. It'll just go out when you don't have any more wood in it. So we'll place that one down, say, maybe like there. And then if I come up to it, there's a little box up here that you can see. I can put wood into it and then that makes it go. And if you press shift at the same time as clicking the plus button, that'll put in your wood at 10 increments. After collecting a few more things, we're now able to also craft up the golden spear. Now, a lot of players will go with the sword and I choose to go with the spear just because with the sword, you have to be up really quite close to your enemy or to the wolves or whatever, which gives them the opportunity to hurt you. Now, with the spear, because they're a little bit further away, it seems to give you a little bit of an advantage. Um, that is just my opinion, so I always go with the spear. Now, we're almost ready to head on out to the snow. The next thing I want to do, I'm going to craft up one of these explorer hats. Alright, so at long last, we finally have the items to craft up this little explorer's cap. So I'll get that one happening. And I'll pop him on. Check me out, how cute am I? Now, a lot of other players, like I said, everyone does things differently. A lot of the other players, they're going to be going for earmuffs and they're also going to be going for coats to try and get out into the winter biome. Um, I find that if I craft up enough fires to keep me warm, my biggest problem out there is either starvation or getting attacked by polar bears. Now, if you have the Explorer cap on, and you don't attack any of the wolves or any of the polar bears or anything like that, they will actually leave you alone. So that's why I go with the Explorer cap. It obviously doesn't keep you as warm, so you just need to make sure you've got plenty of fires. Okay, so we now have a player that has decided that he's going to come destroy our base for no no reason at all. <laughs> he's uh, Maybe he's going to go away now because it's just come night time. They don't like the fact that I am actually at the top of the leaderboard now. So a lot of players will think, awesome, I'm at the top of the leaderboard. But no, in this game, um, it just makes you a huge target and everyone then wants to come beat you up. So we really got to get a wriggle on this and get out to the snow. So as soon as morning comes, I think we might head off. All right, guys, daybreak is here. It's time for us to go. And I'm going to just leave my door open. You know why? Because those guys are probably going to come demolish my base now anyways. And honestly, there's nothing in there that I can't replace. So uh, let's go. And I've got my fire ready because, like I said, you will freeze out here quite quickly. And look, I'm leaving little footprints in the snow and like I said because I have the explorers cap on these guys won't actually attack me unless I attack them all right so we're just gonna keep going keep scooting and we are heading for the far right corner because that's where the biggest blob of diamond is and that's what I want to try and get to pop that one down there beautiful warm up a little bit and we're off and running again
Awesome stuff. We made it to our first diamond. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to harvest this guy up so then we can start making some of the diamond weapons. Alright, so we've got 118 diamonds so far. So the next thing I want to do is I would like to build a little bit of a crafting bench. So I better put down a fire so I don't freeze. Alright, so we now got enough wood so we can build a crafting bench. So I'm going to head up to where the dragon cave is. Alright, so we're at the dragon's cave, so you can actually see the dragon flying around in there. So we'll craft up one of these crafting benches. And I'll just pop him down like so. Now, in order to make the diamond spear, we're going to need 250 wood, 80 gold and 50 diamonds. So I'm going to have to find some more gold. There is gold in the snow, snow biome as well. Um, so maybe I might race over there and go collect a bit of gold. Now I'm thinking it might actually be a good idea to start returning home because we are starting to run low on wood and things like that and in order to be able to make the diamond spear we actually need 250 wood. Now we do have these wooden trees out here but they don't actually seem to give a lot of resources. So if I run up to him even though it looks really quite big I mean it gave us maybe 20 20 wood for for just that there and um, at the cost of possibly freezing I don't really think it's worth it at the moment so we might maybe head home uh, collect some more gold and things like that and make up these diamond weapons Awesome. So we made our way home and surprisingly enough, no one actually destroyed our base while we were gone. Have we got anything? We still have our wolf fur, but we don't have any thread. That's all right. It's not a big deal. That's why I left it there. All right. So I'm going to chuck some wood in here so we do not freeze. And we will head over to our workbench and we are actually able now to craft our diamond spear. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we have our diamond spear, but we do still have our buddies hanging around. So they just came over and paid me a bit of a visit, started bashing on my wall. So we will need to um, keep an eye on these guys because I don't know how friendly they're going to be. They may try and attack me. I don't honestly know. So the next thing I want to do, I want to craft a, a diamond pickaxe if possible. If we can uh, manage to get this done without <laughs> anyone finding us and killing us, that would be awesome. All right, so we headed home and it's quite clearly not safe at our base. Number two and number three have teamed up together and they would like to beat me up. So I'm going to head back out to the snow and just try and make a go of it. I mean, things can't get any worse out there than what they are in here. So I've got a little buddy here, King Junior. So I'm going to see if he's ready to come and we're going to head out to the snow. 
Alrighty, so we now have both the diamond spear and the diamond pickaxe. We can actually head back out to the snow and I really want to show you guys this dragon's cave and hopefully be able to pick up some of this amethyst. I don't actually know how we're going to go though. Um, I haven't done this before. I haven't actually been out into the dragon's lair before so it could be interesting. All right, so the time has come and we are heading off to the snow. Let's go. We've got a little King Junior buddy here. And I might actually try to stick to the top left this time. And out we go. Yeah, yeah. Second time lucky. Let's hope our next trip is as good as our last trip was. Our last trip was quite productive. Oh man, it looks like we might maybe just lose our little buddy. Oh no, he got him. Good job, good job. I haven't actually killed one of those wolves yet, so that is awesome. Good job, buddy. All right, so we're heading down here now because he wants to go find some more gold. Now I think that there is some down here somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure whereabouts. Oh man, he's actually decided to pick a fight with the wolf this time. Really? Really? I hope you're good, buddy, because I'm not, I'm honestly not very good at fighting. And I don't know if this is going to go down very well. Get him, get him, get him, get the fox, get the fox, get the fox. Yeah, awesome stuff. So we got some more meat now. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get the fur, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's all right. At least we still got some more meat, so we'll cook that up. Oh man, dang it. So we ended up getting all that way and then we just got killed at the wolf right at the wrong time. Darndy, darndy, darn. All right, well, I feel kind of sorry for my little buddy who I left out in the snow. I do apologize, Mr. King. I hope you have enough fires to get back. <laughs> All right, so, but I think I'm going to have to leave this episode here today, guys. I am so sorry that we didn't manage to make it to the cave and I was able to show you the amethyst and we were able to craft up those weapons, but I did try. I really did try. All right, thank you so much for joining me again and I hope to see See you all again soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. So after dying, I just thought, well, I can't leave my body out there. I feel rotten. I absolutely feel rotten. So I'm actually going to attempt to go out into the snow completely naked. <laughs> I'm not going to take a jacket or anything like that with me. I've got a few little foodie items and I've got six fires. So this could be extremely quick, but I just can't. I can't leave him out there. I don't know. He was saying that he didn't think that we had enough fires and now I feel terrible because I said, no, no, mate, it's fine. I've got plenty. And then I died. <laughs> so this could be really bad or really good, but I might even die before we even get there. Hang on. My little, I'm getting, I'm freezing. I'm freezing. Pop down a fire. There we go. There we are. All right. So we've got six fires. All right, might maybe see if I can craft up at least another one. All right, so we're going to have seven fires when we head out. All right, so hopefully I can still see his name on the leaderboard. He is coming third, so it is King Junior. And I am hoping that I managed to get out there and that he's okay. He is still definitely alive, otherwise his name wouldn't be on the leaderboard. But I don't know how I'm going to go running across the snow completely naked. But let's go. Let's give it a shot. All right, we might die straight away. I don't know. Oh, we can make it in a little way before we start to freeze. That's actually a lot further than what I thought we were going to get. All right, so put this down now. All right, because we are pretty chilly. 
Oh no, you know what I just realised? I'm running through the snow and naked trying to find our buddy and he's gone off the leader list. No! I'm sorry, King Junior, that I didn't manage to get back in time to save you. I did, however, try. I was running through the snow trying to come save you, completely butt naked. <laughs> ah, so thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope to see you all again soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.